West Africa, Niger and Mali, the countries worst affected by Islamist militants, slipping across virtually non-existent desert borders on our racing to improve cross-border coordination in the fight against Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb. Now, the two countries with support from French troops are working to better their response to attacks, share intelligence and uproot the militants from their hideouts in the Sahel. The 800-kilometer border between Niger and Mali, which runs from the semi-arid Sahel region uh, north into the Sahara Desert, is largely unpoliced. Now, apart from kidnapping dozens of Westerners and attacking military units, the militants allied to Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb have shaken the region with a string of attacks in Mali, Burkina Faso and Côte d'Ivoire. The complementarities between armies exist and it's materializing by the exchange of information between countries. We share experiences and knowledge. Mali and Niger have perfect knowledge of the area and the populations of their respective countries and France supplies us. So it's support that we're missing, especially in terms of medical evacuation missions by air. The complementarity between armies exists, and it's materializing by the exchange of information between countries. We share experiences and knowledge. Mali and Niger have perfect knowledge of the area and the populations of their respective countries, and France supplies us. So it's support that we're missing, especially in terms of medical evacuation missions by air.